goodness sakes. Slap my mammy. Send me to Alabama. Whatever. Uh, howdy, folks. Howdy. Sean Brock here with you once again. And um, if you haven't done so, please subscribe. Don't be a, a bad sport. Please subscribe, like, share, comment. Leave us a word, man. Where are you at? What are you doing? Unless you're naked or something. Don't leave us a word in. So this is the second guitar on the channel from Joshua Young. You might recall just a couple weeks ago, uh, I had a Paduk uh, D28 style that Joshua uh, had had made for me. And I went down to pick up and we'd done a video on that one. If you haven't seen that, please check the description box and go over and hear this uh, Paduk that this young man made. And today, we, what we got is a, a Madagascar D28 made in the uh, mid-30s style, forward shifted, scallop bracing, um, real, real on uh, the pre-war pattern, not a lot of uh, variance from, from kind of the, the pre-war uh, forward shifted plan. And uh, this guy gets a awfully close and man I've I've loved mine I've played it every day just non-stop and this one here he sent up uh, and if you're interested in Joshua's guitar see the description box you can contact him if you want more info or if you want to get on his list or see some of his wood selection he's built up a pretty good selection of wood uh, and uh, you know mahoganies and Brazilian Madagascar and Paduk and uh, just uh, some alternative. He's building a guitar out of walnut right now. So there's a lot of stuff going on for this dude, and he is the real deal. He is the absolute real deal. If I, I bragged on him so big in the last one, I don't want to retell the same story, but uh, this young man has impressed me a great deal with knowledge and uh, with uh, what he's doing now, the sound of these things. Take a listen to this and see the description box if you'd like to talk to Joshua Young about uh, his guitars and his website's on there. We'll also put the spec sheet on there because I'll forget a bunch of important specs like hide glue. I forgot that in, my, in mine when I was talking about the specs. So check that description box. Check the overtones on this. Pretty impressive. Subtleties are there. This is a new guitar. This is not old, okay? This is a new guitar. Hear the bass? Tight, controlled, big thump.
like a semi truck coming down the road at you. guitars are not things that you have to beat on man they just they really carry you along um, I've got to play mine in some situations with with other people now to to kind of test out too how they do uh, you know when you're doing something other than sitting around playing in the house picking and man they, they just carry they 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 they're just uh, they carry they cut through so so nice but the tone is good it's not some like some baby screaming at you and going ah you know cutting through it's a very just a good concert type sound key of a sound boys and girls big old sound in this sucker uh, just just like the Paduke um, you know and I know there's a lot of people who say what the heck is Paduke see that video but nonetheless and I realize there's people that say look man okay yeah I love I love the sound of that Paduke uh, but man I ain't into trying to get into all that I mean I've got to have uh, Brazilian or East Indian or Madagascar or Guatemalan or mahogany. I, I've got to have something more standardized tone wood. Then that's another reason we want to have this Madagascar rosewood on here uh, to, 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 to show a couple of things. Uh, one to show, you can listen to this video back to back with the Paduke and to show the uh, credibility of Paduke but also that the guy is not a one-hit wonder. You know, this is, uh, there was a guitar between uh, the Paduke and then there was an OM that a, that a gentleman had bought and then this Madagascar was built after that. So, you know, we're not dealing with a guy that puts out one good one and 15 bad ones or something like that. These are all very consistent. I played his first guitar and was just super impressed with the sound of his well his first and his second i played his first second third fifth uh and man i tell you you've got an ear you you judge for yourself
awesome guitar. I'm, <laughs> I was so excited because uh, I play. I actually played this thing when I picked up the Baduk, and uh, he said, "Oh, I got a couple guys wanting to play my Madagascar. Going to send it to them. Uh, you mind if we do a video of it first? I said, "Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, get that thing up here. Hey, hurry up." See, it's a little different than mine. Um, I wanted, I was going to do a side by side on them, just so because these are the same tops, uh, mine and this one are by the same batch. Uh, just, I thought it'd be good to do a side by side so you could hear Paduke and, and Madagascar together. Uh, but the sound hole, mine has a slightly enlarged sound hole, and I thought, well, that's not really fair because that's, that's pretty different characteristic. Fifth fret. <laughs> Check the colors on this. New guitar, new guitar. on here sorry okay I'll forget a bunch of specs folks hide glue uh, North Carolina uh, red spruce same thing I've got on mine they some folks call this this the Magnum junior because of uh, what it is where it was cut whom was involved in the harvesting all that wonderful stuff wonderful stuff I'll stand up and testify for this stuff great stuff 
Um, 37 spec, forward shifted, scalloped, X. Uh, old style bridge, long saddle, made of bone, bone nut. Um, slotted bridge, of course, sticking with uh, that motif. Uh, nice volute, real nice volute on the back of the headstock. And, you know, uh, uh, he's got uh, these are Goto's and then, you know, with the Ivroid button on there. Um, he's got the tree, mahogany from the tree as the engraft in this guitar. And I find that real interesting. You know, it's just, just a nice little twist. It's not something that's out of left field. Um, you know, it's not like you put a, 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 a silhouette of Mitt Romney on it or something like that, or, or <laughs> Vanna White, or pick, pick your person, whoever. Um, but, uh, you know, it, it kind of, it barely breaks away from the norm uh, in, a, in a good way. Um, and that was just a kind of maker's choice, I think, on that. And another thing I wanted to mention, this is a vintage style neck. Um, not a heavy, heavy V, but, you know, there's V there good substantial in the hand really really good neck i love it i love the necks i love the neck on mine love the neck on this one two and five sixteenths one and three quarters is uh, the way the spacing goes ebony bridge ebony fairboard and uh, something else i failed to mention on mine that um there again I, and actually i don't think it's on the specs but these are rounded rounded fingerboard edges rolled over very nicely feel really good in the hand you know just got that broken nice uh, feel with them being rolled and they're rolled uh, the just what I like to see I mean I've, I've seen a few where people have kind of over rolled them you know and you sort of feel like you're grabbing the steering wheel or something but this is uh, this is nice this is real nice and uh, this is a guy who will go very, very, very far. I'm telling you, I've, I've seen this before with, with people and I've seen some people be over celebrated and some be under celebrated. And this guy right here, Joshua Young, he will go very, very far. And, uh, you, if you're interested in one of his guitars, you probably don't want to sit around and wait. You probably want to talk to him. Uh, as for selling this, I don't know if he will. I know he has some other other people who wanted to play it, um, so you would have to talk to him uh, as far as uh, the purchase of this. Um, you know, it's it's kind of the shop guitar I think right now. But I mean, everybody's sold stuff, ain't they? <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, see the description box, and you can contact him, email him, text him, call him, visit his website there. And uh, the old boy down in McMinnville, Tennessee, he'll take good care of you. And uh, please subscribe if you haven't done so already. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. God bless you. Take care.